there's where I... <laughs> I'm like, I don't know where to put stuff. You could say we're kind of beginning our move-in process. La, da, 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 da. <laughs> You just finished saying things are starting to emerge. They are starting to emerge. Like there was a basket where like I know GoPro -y and electric stuff goes. Boom, it's there, it's ready. But we don't have like any kind of small storagey stuff besides drawers. And I'm like, I don't wanna just throw the tea bags into just like a random drawer. Why don't you keep the tea bags in the box and put it in the shelving area, yeah. I think there's a trip to Ikea in our future. Uh... I think he is where relationships go to die. And I'm not ready for this one to die. Our relationship has survived Ikea multiple times. Multiple. On the plus side, we have a Buddha head candle. We do have a Buddha head candle. Okay, let's see. Special thanks to my high school world cultures teacher, June Murray. In commemoration of Finally being able to say we have a clean boat, we decided to to have a, a nicer than usual lunch. Wouldn't you say nicer than usual? Normally our working lunches are pretty poor. By nicer than usual, he means a uh, meat platter. With, choc <laughs> with chocolate prosciutto. Oh, I didn't even know there was chocolate. Yeah, in there's there. chocolate in there. So we fancy. So this is what he means, <laughs> he means by nicer than normal, a meat platter. For, sandwiches though. For the record, this is not what I constitute as fancy, no. but it is nicer than usual. No, uh, he is bougie AF, so. It's kind of bitchy of you to say that. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm a little bougie too, so. I know, just look at your shirt. It tells it all. Oh, honey. Oh, honey. Hashtag Trixie. Trixie. Where'd you get that shirt? I got this in P Town. Oh yeah, that is the one you got in P Town. Yeah, I know you bought it for me. I did. I couldn't decide on a shirt, so you got the old hunting shirt. Yep. Okay, let's eat. After a very long and lengthy novel length conversation, Nick and I decided we're gonna stay here today. One, because we need to get some filming done for an episode, and two we need to actually like stay on the boat before we move aboard. The only way for us to understand what we need to buy before we leave to head down south is to actually be here and experience being on the boat. And now is actually the first time that the cabins actually like live aboard ready. So we're gonna stay here tonight to get everything done before we go shopping and spend a bunch of money. It's all starting. I can taste the Florida salt air already. <laughs> Are we there yet? No? Okay. So close. So close. So close to Florida? Is that what you're saying? To leaving, Jacob. I know. Look, I'm wearing coats and jackets and stuff. I'm tired of it. I'm not saying I'm a nudist, but I don't want to be wearing so many clothings. I want to take them off and relax and be warm. And I swear to God, when we get down to Florida, I am spending like a week just doing nothing except tanning and swimming. And unfortunately, probably editing video, but that's it. That's all I'm doing. This is our new transition. Go to Patreon, follow us, give us money, and also subscribe. Hit that button down below. Thanks! Look at that Jake in his semi-natural habitat. Cleaning, cleaning, and more cleaning. Cleaning, cleaning, and more cleaning. I'm mixing accents. Crikey. 
and other colloquials <laughs> from different English speakers. So, one of the things that we need to add to the list, which is an actual easy solve, is to get new things. Um, this was not... I don't know, not to say like everything else, but it definitely, like everything else, was not maintained great. I mean, personally, I just don't like the double sink. One night only, that's how long we'll be here. One night only, one night only, and then we have to go. Oh, cause it's one night only. One night only. I need to film the Bowsprit episode. This is what it's like living with me. Jake's breaking stereotypes all the time. Which is what? Oh, oh, I know. I, I like show tunes. And I can repair a fucking boat. What then? Oh, oh, I meant that not all gay men can dance. Yeah, yeah. I'm offended. That offends me. You're not actually offended, so be a little funnier, fake, insulted. I'm genuinely offended. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like this episode is turning into a behind the scenes look at our lives as we film other episodes. Unintentional, but I said we had some filming to do, so that's what we're doing. Did you find the final? Yeah. It opened up my eyes, I saw the funnel. So this is the first time we've actually like properly used the stove. Um, we're still learning how to use it the very first time we ever used it. We caught the entire stove on fire. So we turned the thing on and I guess the alcohol just kind of filled over everywhere. We lit it and the whole thing went up in flames. We panicked. We panicked. We took the fire extinguisher, squirted it everywhere. So we're still learning how to use it. We still kind of overdo the alcohol a little bit and always get a large flame at first. We're so a little impatient. So it takes a minute for it to burn down so we can actually get it going. So it's stupid, but the first thing we're doing with our stove is making tea. Better to do that than cook food and burn it right out the gate and be hungry. So. Oh, and I think the thing that is kind of beneficial to an alcohol stove is the fuel is very affordable. It burns clean. Um, so there's no like residue or smoke in the air, so like you can be kind of in this closed boat like this and not have any concern. Um... So, as I was saying before, I was rudely interrupted by T. Um, so far, that's the plus set to an alcohol stove. Burns clean. You can put a fire out with water. Um, efficiency, how fast it boils water, how well it cooks, any of that information, I don't know yet. Like I said, this was our first real time using the stove. And you were here with us. This is why we're doing this journey, so we can share our stories. The stories that people want to know. Like, how does a stove work? Like, how does a pressurized alcohol stove work? Like, how does a pressurized alcohol stove work? That's what the people really want to know. Indeed, sailing. <laughs> it's all about the cooking. This is what we have to do to get a good shot sometimes. So that's the reason we started having this conversation about getting an anchor was for freedom. So. At the end of the day, I was comfortable and I wasn't scared. It wasn't something that I was really concerned about. Is this, is this working? It's working. Okay. So, <laughs> for all of you at home that don't know, this is called 
giving a little eye light. So actually in film, what we do is it's the dumbest, we have the dumbest thing laying around. White surface, we use them to bounce light so that we can make me brighter. Just, just a hint of eye light. Just a smidge. Because, you know, everybody wants a little twinkle in their eye. So for the amount of times that you've seen me talking on camera and you couldn't see anything down below, there's a good chance of doing something like this. Just so yeah. I look pretty. And then that right there is our key. And then that ugly monstrosity of a light, which isn't really a monstrosity, it's just ugly, is our is our fill. Um, we want some some better lighting setups in, in our boat so we can film. But that's that's a coming soon. If you would like, comment below if you're curious as to kind of, a, I guess I've seen other people do a camera haul. So comment below if you're kind of curious about what all the items and camera equipment we use to kind of make all of this come together because it's quite a bit of stuff. So comment below if you want to see that and we can either create a specific video for it or put it in one of our other ones. And if you just want some like film techniques explained, also let us know. Happy to help fill in some of those gaps. Yes. Um, on a creative front and a technical front, it's something that we both can talk about um, in depth quite a bit. So if you want to see a special video or maybe get a live stream focused specifically on filmmaking and camera equipment, let us know. We're getting the boat outfitted a little bit. Getting the boat outfitted a bit so that uh, we can sleep on board. And that basically includes getting some water because we're kind of out of that. And uh, some glassware. Uh, plasticware. Plastic glassware, which mm -hmm. to be honest, I freaking hate plastic. I think it's the worst invention ever, but. Glass and boats don't mix. Yeah, we don't want to keep replacing glasses every so often. So uh, now that we've done our little provisioning, uh, we're going to head back to the house, pick up some blankets and other accoutrements. It's fancy name. I know, I said accoutrements. And uh, we'll see you back at the boat. Back to the marina. Time to load our stuff into Ixion. I kind of feel like we're camping out for the first time ever. No? Okay. Just got everything loaded on Ixion. Returned the cart. And now we get to relax a little bit. Um, organize. So I guess that's not relaxing. Uh, whatever. <laughs> Um, it's the life we chose. <laughs> okay, and now that we are back at the boat with all of our junk, it's time to put it all away. Okay, so everything is put away, uh, cleaned up, and that is pretty much all we're doing today. So the rest of the day is going to be spent doing some work. Um, we're not getting any editing done, but we're gonna get some social media done, some design stuff done. Just kind of plan and do some production-y stuff. But that's it for tonight, and we will start right and early tomorrow. Yeah. How are you feeling in our in our new environment? This is the most stuff that I've ever seen in here. Ever. Yeah. It's starting to feel a little like home. 
A little bit. Um, the biggest thing now is we need decorations. All we have right now is this that we bought in P-Town last year. So, yeah. That's it for decorations, though. Okay, so let's get to discussing branding and production y stuff. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah. We uh, got a lot of work done trying to suss out some of our, our thumbnails and our branding. So let us know what you think of them uh, down below in the comments. We're always looking to improve. And uh, we'll see you in the morning to yes, do comment. get. We'll see you in the morning to give you some of our feedback. So uh, good night. <laughs>crazy hair. Hi. Good morning. Good morning. Well, I, we slept on the boat for the first time in a year. A year. How'd you sleep? Um, I fell asleep quickly. I was tired. Struggle to stay asleep. I think we need another pillow. And uh, maybe look into a real mattress at some point. Because those cushions are. Uh, Set bar. Stiff AF. <laughs> That's the word I want to use. Stiff AF. A, uh, yeah. I'm still in here. Mm. It's cool in here, but it's not like unbearably cold. Like the boat stays kind of consistently cool. Yeah, we also have. Is that what? You, yeah, we also have a heater, but. But like in the V-Birth, it was just really our body heat. Keeping everything, you know, warm. Warm. Mm so we've had our breakfast and our coffees and we're slowly warming up um got the heater going not right this second because it's noisy but this was our first night um <laughs> this video started out one thing and kind of ended up in a different place altogether it kind of it did turned out to be a almost behind the scenes day in the life kind of esque of us which was not intended, but say la vie, it worked, it was fun. Okay. Yeah. I kind of had fun doing this. I hope you enjoyed seeing our personality shine through. We haven't had a lot of opportunity to do that. It's we're <laughs> both a bit crazy in different ways, um, but we're always, <laughs> most times that you see is we're doing projects. So yeah. we're not like laughing and cracking jokes and dancing around, we're too busy. When I'm in project mode, I'm like really focused on that and I kind of forget sometimes to film. I kind of forget sometimes to like multitask in general. Sometimes he forgets to smile and be happy. And be sometimes I just forget to eat. And be he does. Like all the time Literally, actually. if I let him go, he'll just work. He'll eat breakfast because that's a given in the morning. And then he'll just work straight through all the way to dinner without stopping. Well... 
Maybe yeah. I won't even eat dinner. I'll have to like go like go find him and remind him like, hey, time to eat, buddy. Food time. We need to yell. Sustenance. Chill, dude. Chill. Yeah. So, we hope you like this video. Um, this is kind of what our life looks like, uh, minus the sailing. So pretty much <laughs> this plus the sailing is basically what we do. Um, obviously, so you see all the projects, but this is kind of our day to day. Right? I mean, this was our first time sleeping on board so this wasn't like i wouldn't call this our day-to-day -day, but it's our it's our new normal but it's it's us kind of getting ready cleaning you know organizing filming you know working on social media and branding and design stuff also oh yes that from that side i'm gonna give a little plug go to sanglaixion.com we actually just moved our store to a different vendor so they're diff different printer so if you go to sailingixion.com, you can see some new stuff we have, including a shirt that is dedicated to our favorite new sailor, Uncle Doug. Yep. So it's a great one. Um, also my personal- Hashtag choppy poppy. Yes. Also my personal favorite is the Sail with Pride jacket. Um, that one kind of means a lot to me. It's a personal design of mine, but it's a way to kind of marry the gay pride with sailing. Um, so mm -hmm. you can go check that out, um, sailingixion.com. I hope you enjoyed this week's episode. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't. And like or comment below. Let us know what you think. Uh, we would really like to hear from you. And if you're really enjoying the content that we're creating, please consider supporting us on Patreon. The link is also down below. And uh, it's really the only way that we're able to, to keep making these videos. So, see you all next week. Bye. Bye.